Welcome to Ofo Studio. My guest for today is Rohit Bankodi from Cyberstats. They're an IT malware and sanitization solution. So Rohit, what uh, what brings you to Bangalore? First of all, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, like I was here for that NASCOM Deep Tech event. Okay. So I thought maybe I will give a shot to come here to pitch in mm-hmm. Ofo Studio. So I have seen Oppo Studio like they are doing a great job. Yeah, right. this Thanks. building a kind of a you know community also where you are promoting a startup companies like us, right? Where we can you know have a marketplace, right? And we can promote and pitch our product together. Yeah. That, thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks yep. a lot. Yep. That that that's really kind. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, for for the viewers and the listeners, if you can uh, tell them about uh, your work experience and like you know how you started your journey. Okay. And some of the key projects that you've worked on, what you're doing right now, okay. and what's up in the future. So, I have a kind of a ten-year experience working in different different companies. Okay. Like I work with McKinsey also. Mm-hmm. I work in uh, Middle East with some of the MOD and MOI clients, okay. government clients. Apart from that, I work on a uh, community-based role also, where I work with uh, DuckDuckGo, okay. which is a kind of a search engine. So I help in building a community. Apart from that, I was a part of Hacker Day. I was a part of ICANN. We are a naming convention of our internet TLD, uh, like top level domains. Mm-hmm. So I work on that kind of a contribution. So I started this company in twenty nineteen uh, mm-hmm. uh, with the hope building a solution for malware detection and malware mitigation. Okay. And we got a good scope. We got a good um, feedback from the uh, from the people. We got selected with Mark thirty seven, a US based accelerator. Who backed us in our technology building? Also, they help us in building different different use case mm-hmm. where mentor help us. And after that, we got uh, we 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 go for a different different certification also for the product okay. to get a kind of accreditation from the market. Okay. So we went to AMSO, which is anti malware testing standard organization. Mm-hmm. So where we have tested uh, our engine with different different testing groups like MRG, VV hundred. So we tested our engine and see like what are the loopholes we, where we can cover, what are the gray areas that we can you know work on. Mm-hmm. So that's the you know in starting of our engine where we start. Okay. After that, we build lots of product uh, like we do lots of integration. So uh, one of the uh, portfolio where we have done is Spectral Browser where okay. we have integrated our scrutiny engine mm-hmm. inside a browser. Okay. So whenever there is a file upload or a download, it's so your own custom browser. Yes. Okay. So it's a kind of a non-Chromium browser. Okay. So you can see like all the browser are Chromium based. Like right. I, yeah. So Microsoft Edge is also a Chromium based, right. right? Right. So we try to build a kind of a non-Chromium browser on the basis of privacy also. Okay. So yeah. So what what are some of the use cases for uh, that browser? So it can like so we put this browser uh, limited to Fed organization and government agency okay. where they can have a kind of a use case where you know they can in in build it inside into their internal application. Okay. Right. In For the, internal communication. Yeah, internal okay. communication and okay. it's kind of an isolated browser also, right? Okay. So no information is shared with any like in a public domain. Mm-hmm. So user can build a kind of a client server model. Mm-hmm. So server will be there who will be taking care of all the request by request mm-hmm. coming from a single user client. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, you you touched on some of the use cases that you uh, that you are building for some of your customers, right? Yep. Can you just briefly touch on those? So recently, what we have launched a Vortex platform. Okay. So Vortex is basically a kind of a co-build uh, platform, and it's a kind of a platform where we are competing directly with Virus Total. Okay. So Virus Total is a big uh, uh, name in cybersecurity world. Mm-hmm. We are uh, multiple antivirus engine sandbox come together you know, to detect any kind of uh, unknown malware. Mm-hmm. So we are also replicating the same kind of work where we have integrated different different OEM, international OEM, mm-hmm. who are uh, who are trusting our technology. Mm-hmm. Right. Apart from that, we are doing a kind of a sanitization of feature. Okay. So we are not just uploading a file mm-hmm. or giving a result. We are mm-hmm. providing a clean version of that file. So it's a kind of a sanitized version of that file. So we are stripping off all the malware or the malicious code inside a file. Mm-hmm. So we have a use case where we are helping a. Uh, some financial based company mm-hmm. or whenever they upload any file any point for all our KYC so we are scanning all this file and recently we are also integrating a same kind of application like internal application if a company have an internal application and they want to scan right. and none of the antivirus or none of the engine provides such kind of a capability right, so it right. can be integrated inside their application 
so we are providing such kind of a use case where user can have a kind of a trust also like why we are detecting any kind of a new malware or new malicious code right yeah, yeah. perfect perfect so what does a normal day to day what's your routine like these days so most of the time right right now it's a busy day for okay. me all the time so it's like mostly it's for meeting mm -hmm. where i go but it's about building a team work also so i i go and be to everyone in a, my team mm -hmm. to motivate him about the thing yep. like our uh, recent communication g20 also like this got a uh, lots of appreciation mm -hmm. apart from that we build a same case study with our you know our team also mm -hmm. like if you do a good work the people will appreciate you absolutely right yeah, yeah. and they will recognize you mm -hmm. right and if the work is good and transparent right and bring a kind of a reliability in the network and mm -hmm. or in a community mm -hmm. it will help in many many ways Got right. Well, what are some of the recognition and awards okay. in terms of the appreciation that you've received? So, recently? yep, yep. So, I, I was awarded for new gen icon from MSME partner. Okay. okay. Uh, under a tally a tally awards. Great. And apart from that, we are been nominated several times by DSI for mm -hmm. most innovative product, mm -hmm. like one for Spectral Browser in 2020, mm -hmm. and 2021 we have recognized for Vortex platform that we have recently launched, mm -hmm. and it's for a public only, right? Yeah. So, how long back does your uh, journey with cybersecurity go? When did it, when did it start? So, it start from uh, after my college, mm -hmm. where uh, where I got us uh, selected in in a vendor based company. Okay. So they are basically a reseller. Mm -hmm. So I go in every in, uh, like a network or environment right, which is very different, and it was a learning for me. Okay. You know, so I started from the kind of a uh, from a very lay down where mm -hmm. we are just installing an antivirus in the system. Right. So it's a ten-year back story. Like where you have to go you know, personally and install an antivirus. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a kind of experience where I have installed like a three hundred system in a day. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a learning for me. Mm -hmm. I was excited. Like I was not kind of a thing. Like uh, it was a burden for me. Mm -hmm. I was learning thing. I was going in every every system. You know, yeah. installing thing. Like what what are the malware there, right? Finding out that kind of details and yeah. why the antivirus got failed or like they are struck also, right? Mm. They are not working. People do not care about the security also at that time. Right. So right. that was my learning with the you know working with antivirus companies or antivirus product. Mm. Yeah, from from uh, from a corporate life. So how how has it changed from then to now? What are some of the key differences that you've noticed? So I think you know like Indian company can also build you know good products good prototypes mm -hmm. that can you know help uh, internationally right. right they can't be limited or using a kind of a make in india scope right yeah. it will not work yeah. so it need to be uh, lo like local thing need to be vocal right right they need right. to come uh, come go uh, in a public domain right yeah. build their own trust right? right if we are building a trust and transparency in the market people will accept us correct yep so you're building this really exciting new product yep. called yep. Vortex, right? Yep, yep. And in addition to building that product, you're also a services shop. Yep. So can can you tell me first about some of the services that you deliver for your customers? Okay. And then probably elaborate a little on Vortex. Right. So in case of service, you know, like in India, there are low gap. There's a big gap mm -hmm. uh, around uh, on education of malware. Like right. people don't know how a malware can affect their network. Also, they right. don't know what kind of malware is that or what kind of a ransomware you know can corrupt all the network right so we started a uh, work on malware uh, malware study also where we have a program ransomware responder mm -hmm. and apart from that we provide a kind of a workshop for a company mm -hmm. in in that workshop what we do we go to a corporate network we do a kind of a scan to the complete network mm -hmm. with our bot tags and scrutiny engine okay. in, in this in this activity what we do we do a sanitization of uh, of a hidden rootkit files mm -hmm. if, if we found any kind of an anomaly we report it back okay. if we find out any kind of a malware or uh, you know any hidden rootkit also so we we give a complete report and just bring a credibility to our product also like what we are building on also and it's give up kind of a premium access to our product also right right, yeah. right. so it's not kind of a service it's kind of a box of what we are building or working on right, right but eventually you would want everybody to like yeah. eventually you would want the product to self-serve right yep yep, yep. Yeah. so what are some of the uh, features okay from, uh, in vortex can you elaborate on yep this? yep so we have introduced a thing which called simulation intelligence okay 
So simulation in Dillon, nobody talk about this technology, like people do work on breach and attack simulation and thing, mm -hmm. but simulation intelligence can be used in detecting a malware also. Okay. So we build a cross simulation intelligence platform mm -hmm. where we are checking out what are the malicious content a file can exist of. Can I have right? So we are doing a cross simulation checking of that file. We do sanitization uh, within it, mm -hmm. and we give a kind of a clean file to the user. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, uh, we have built a kind of a agent also. Mm -hmm. So user can build their own antivirus or own anti malware from our product okay. based upon the uh, you know pattern matching or the detection level. So it can help in the false positive rate uh, rate scenarios also. Like if they, if they are getting too, uh, too many false positive results, so they can change that kind of detection also. Oh. And apart from that, we have, we also offer our API integration. Mm -hmm. So user can, you know, they can customize the product. The Vortex can be customized on the customer need. So right. like they can, if they want to integrate our API in, into their network or into their internal application or mm -hmm. anywhere else on a cloud also. Yeah. So they can use it directly with our API. They can talk directly to our API basically. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. So the scrutiny agent that you briefly touched upon, yep, yep. how is it different from like, you know, your regular anti-malware solutions? Right. So there are uh, around 30, 35 AV vendors already in the market. Okay working with AV or EDR solution. Mm -hmm. So what we have built a scrutiny on the basis of name only scrutiny. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing, we are building a kind of a companion tool. Okay. So it's not a kind of a uh, tool which, which is, will be replacing our AV or EDR tool. Mm -hmm. So it will be checking thing on the early stage detection. Mm -hmm. So and apart from that, we are doing a, a process where we are doing a sanitization of file also. Mm -hmm. So scrutiny has a capability if we find any kind of a malicious code. So it will be doing a sanitization of that file. So okay. that's why we are calling it new age anti-malware, mm -hmm. where we are not only detecting a file, we are uh, cleaning that file also. Is, is it already there in, in uh, as a solution in the product or yep, yep. is it on the future? No, no. So we have, uh, the Vortex is a part of that uh, pl uh, program. Got it. Where we are doing a kind of a detection also and mm -hmm. sanitization also. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Uh, are there anything, is there anything else that is uh, part of your product roadmap? Is there yes, anything that so we should be... Yep. excited about so we are building something on mobile also okay. for b2c user mm -hmm. so we want to touch we want to you know promote our brand so everyone work for a brand right right so we want to like people should know about our product mm -hmm. so know about what kind of a technology we are building mm -hmm. so we are working on scrutiny mobile uh, agent mm -hmm. which will be not only doing a scanning of that uh, application right. so it will be having a kind of a, uh, a feature which can be detect any kind of vulnerability also mm -hmm. if there is any kind of a you know privacy breach mm -hmm. like many application uh, like take information from uh, from a mobile device right. right so we will be tracking that kind of information right so this uh, kind of a, it's a roadmap. Mm -hmm. So we are building on, we are working on our R&D team is working on, mm -hmm. but if things goes well, we will be launching by this end, by this year and yeah. Perfect, yeah. perfect. perfect. Yeah. How, how do people get in touch with you? How, so, how do they reach so, out to you? Yeah, so they can uh, connect me over LinkedIn also. They can come over our website also, right? We are, uh, yeah. Is there a, is there like, okay, so a yeah. lot of, There'll be a lot of listeners okay. on Spotify for this. Okay. So do you want to spell out an email address that they can reach out to? Yep, yep. So they can connect to info at cyberstank.com. Mm -hmm. so that, that will be an easy way to connect us. And apart from that, from the website also, like uh, we have a people who are already active mm -hmm. in all kind of uh, inquiries that comes around to our website. Awesome. Yep, awesome. Yeah. It was great having you yeah, here with us, Rohit. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank a lot for this. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank Thanks. You.